Hello, everybody. Here's a fun thought for you. I'm uh, reading this book about President John Fitzgerald Kennedy, and uh, it's talking about how, like, he was on a PT boat 109 that got sunk by a Japanese ship, and the boat got hit, and a few people passed away, and everyone, uh, you know, they were swimming and went to this island and that island, and eventually they got rescued, which is good. Glad they got rescued the, uh, 76 years ago. But I was thinking, now, at one point, future President Kennedy was swimming around the uh, ocean and to this island and that island trying to find help and whatnot, and he had his shoes tied around his neck. Well, at some point, he decided that the shoes were maybe weighing him down, so he lets the shoes go and they fall to the bottom of the ocean. Now, assuming these shoes have not yet disintegrated or been eaten by sharks or whatnot, one could theoretically find this location, you know, maps, longitude, latitude, the internet, that kind of stuff. One could conceivably find this location of these shoes, dive down there and find them, uh, find your way to one of those uh, antique collectors or authenticators, and they say, yes, these are, in fact, President John F. Kennedy's shoes from 1943. Boom! You put what's left of those shoes on eBay, they're probably going to make a, a pretty good amount of m money, you know, a good chunk of cash, good chunk of change, a lot of dough, you know. Now, mind you, uh, there would be risks involved in this, you know, you, you, gotta, you, know, you gotta rent a boat, that's a financial risk. And the boat could sink, you got you know, sharks, and maybe a barracudas. These are actually referenced in the book, the sharks and barracudas. Um, so there, there, you know, there's no telling. Also, there's the fact that the shoes might have dissolved by now, especially if there's cheap, those uh, cheap shoes that Al Bundy used to sell to dissolve the water. But um, let's assume in these were well-made shoes, because it was way, way back in the day when people actually had pride in craftsmanship. Uh, you know, some things back in the day last a long time. My great uncle Dave, he had a, a table saw from 1938. Uh, when he passed away, it was passed on to my father. He still got that table saw in his house, still running. So, you know, we're talking about how the hell it was. It's an 81 year old saw there, and it's uh, still going. So, anyway, if the saw is still around, it is conceivable that Pre President Kennedy's shoes are at the bottom of that thing, just waiting for some entrepreneur to come along and scoop them up and sell them on eBay. Now, if you do find them and you do sell them, theoretically, I should get a piece of the action because this is my idea. You heard it here. But then I guess the guy who wrote the book, too, should get a piece of the action because he wrote the book. And then I guess President Kennedy should get a piece of the action because those were her shoes, his shoes, excuse me. But I don't think that's uh, very likely, but, you know, Carolyn Kennedy could get a, a cut of them because I believe she's still with us. So, uh, you know, the seller gets some, I get some, uh, the authors of the book get some, and then Carolyn Kennedy gets some. So, conceivably, everyone could make a lot of money off President Kennedy's shoes that are somewhere at the bottom of the ocean, somewhere in the world. Get going, folks. Get going.